Hey everyone, the universe is filled with many paradoxes that challenge our understanding of reality. Of course, the human brain is considered to be the most advanced brain in the universe. However, there are some mysteries which have been bothering scientists for years. So today, we are on those mysteries and you judge which ones are the scariest and which ones you think you know the answer to. So without wasting time, let's start. The Fermi Paradox This paradox is the most famous paradox on the internet today. The Fermi Paradox is a concept named after the physicist Enrico Fermi, which points out the apparent contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of evidence or contact with such civilizations. The universe is vast with billions of stars in our galaxy alone and many more galaxies beyond. Many of these stars have planets and some of these planets are in the habitable zone, where conditions might support life. Given the shared numbers of stars and planets, it seems likely that intelligent life should have developed somewhere else in the universe. Despite the high probability, we haven't found any definite evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations. No alien spaceship, no communications, nothing that clearly indicates intelligent life beyond Earth. Enrico Fermi famously asked, where is everybody? If there are so many opportunities for life to exist, why haven't we seen any signs of it? So what are the ways to solve it? Here is some possible hypothesis, which is maybe Earth is unique or extremely rare. The conditions that allowed intelligent life to evolve here might be very unusual in the universe. Or life might be common, but intelligent life or technological civilization could be very rare. Simple life forms might be widespread, but advanced civilizations could be exceedingly rare. There might be insurmountable technological barriers to interstellar travel or communication. The vast distances and energy requirements could make such endeavors impractical or impossible. Our methods of searching for extraterrestrial life might be insufficient. We could be missing signals or not recognizing them because they are too advanced or too different from what we expect. Or advanced civilizations might be aware of us but choose not to contact us, treating us like a Jew. They might be observing us without interfering. Or some suggest that extraterrestrials are already here but we don't recognize them or they are hidden among us in the ways we can detect. The Fermi paradox remains an open question. Despite the high probability that intelligent life should exist somewhere in the universe, we have yet to find evidence of it. The Information Paradox The Information Paradox is a concept in theoretical physics and cosmology that arises from the study of black holes. It concerns the fate of information that falls into a black hole and whether it can ever be recovered. Well, black holes are regions in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light can escape from them. They are formed when massive stars collapse under their own gravity. The event horizon is the boundary surrounding a black hole beyond which nothing can return is the point of no return for anything that falls into a black hole. So in physics, information typically refers to a state and properties of particles or objects. For example, the information about an object's position, momentum, and other characteristics. Quantum mechanics suggests that information about the quantum state of a system cannot be destroyed. Information should be preserved even if the system undergoes dramatic changes. Stephen Hawking proposed that black holes are not completely black but emit radiation due to quantum effects near the event horizon. This radiation, now known as Hawking radiation, leads to the gradual evaporation of the black hole over time. The paradox arises because if a black hole evaporates completely and the information about what fell into it is lost, this would violate the principle of information, conservation in quantum mechanics. Essentially, it implies that information is destroyed, which is not allowed by quantum theory. So what's actually happened here? There is several theories to possibly solve this paradox. That is, some physicists suggest that information might be preserved in the Hawking radiation itself, although in a highly scrambled form. This would mean that while the information is not lost, it is not easily recoverable. Or some scientists think information is not lost, but is described differently to different observers. According to this view, the information is both reflected at the event horizon and absorbed into the black hole. Depending on the observer's perspective, no one knows what really happened here. 
The simulation hypothesis paradox. The simulation hypothesis proposes that our entire universe might be a simulated reality similar to a highly advanced video game or virtual world created by a more advanced civilization. This idea suggests that what we perceive as reality is actually a computer simulation running on a super advanced computer system. If we are living in a simulation, it might be difficult or impossible to detect it using current scientific methods. The simulation might be so advanced that it perfectly mimics all known physical laws and properties. Even if we are to discover some form of evidence suggesting we are in a simulation, it might be dismissed as false or misinterpreted, leaving us uncertain about the true nature of reality. If we are in simulation, it raises questions about the nature of our existence and the real reality outside the simulation. What does it mean for something to be real? If our experiences are generated by a computer program, the existence of a simulation could imply that our lives and experiences are controlled or observed by an external entity. This raises ethical questions about free will, purpose, and the nature of consequences. Running a simulation of an entire universe, including all its complex interactions and details, would require immense computational resources. This raises questions about whether such simulations are practically achievable. The simulation hypothesis paradox is a thought-provoking idea that challenges our understanding of reality and existence. It raises questions about our nature of our universe, the potential for advanced technologies and the philosophical implication of living in a simulated reality. While it remains a speculative and controversial topic, it continues to inspire debate and exploration in both philosophical and scientific circles. The Baryon Asymmetry Paradox Matter is made up of particles such as protons, neutrons, and electrons. Antimatter is made up of corresponding antiparticles like antiprotons and positrons. The observable universe is composed almost entirely of matter. We see galaxies, stars, planets, and other structures made from matter, but we don't observe significant amounts of antimatter in the universe. The Baryon Asymmetry Paradox questions why the universe is dominated by matter, when according to the theories of particle physics, matter and antimatter should have been created in equal amounts during the Big Bang. The Baryon Asymmetry Paradox is a fundamental question in cosmology and particle physics. It challenges our understanding of the early universe and the fundamental processes that lead to the dominance of matter over antimatter. While several theoretical frameworks offer potential explanations, the true resolution of the paradox remains an active area of research. The ongoing exploration of particle physics, cosmology, and astrophysics continues to seek answers to this profound question about the nature of our universe. The Grandfather Paradox The Grandfather Paradox involves a situation where a time traveler goes back in time and performs actions that prevent their own existence. A person, let's call them time traveler, travels back in time to point before the grandfather had children. While in the past, the time traveler prevents their grandfather from meeting their grandmother or otherwise stops their grandfather from having children. If the time traveler's actions succeed, their parent is never born and as a result, the time traveler themselves is never born. If the time traveler is never born, they cannot travel back in time in the first place to prevent their grandfather from having children. This creates a logical contradiction as the time traveler both exists and does not exist simultaneously. The grandfather paradox is a thought-provoking concept that highlights the complexities and potential contradictions associated with time traveler to the past. It raises questions about causality, logical consistency, and the nature of reality. While various theories offer possible resolutions, the paradox continues to be central topic of debate and exploration in the study of time traveler and theoretical physics. So, which paradox did you find most exciting? Let me know in the comments how you think the paradoxes can be solved. And one more thing, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Until then, watch these videos.